Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Car Question. Yep, you've seen that truck behind me. I'm a truck lover. I love those Tacomas out there. They've got an amazing resale value. Everybody wants one. And Toyota has more than 80 years of experience when it comes to adventure truck. How about the Helix that you're gonna see everywhere on the planet? I went to Thailand, I saw so many of those trucks and believe me, they're real workhorse. How about those Land Cruiser? How about the FG Cruiser, which is now no more available here in North America? Yep, even the wolves are crying this one. But hey, this was an amazing truck with awesome off-road capability. How about the Forerunner? The Tundra is a little bit more for work, but still hasn't moved any of the big American out there that still holds the top places when it comes to sale numbers. But anyway, 80 years and the Tacoma is going strong and it's an amazing machine. For 2018, well, they added the Toyota Safety Sense P package to that, and you've got a new limited model that we have right there behind us with the short box, double cab with the V6. So for who might that be, those kind of little truck? Well, somebody wants a compact, a truck that you can bring into town and still find some parking space, but when it's gonna come to towing, it's gonna be capable. And don't worry about the short box. Huh? We're gonna to present to you another video that we did with a trailer. You're gonna see our best recommendation to tow with that Toyota Tacoma. And by the way, if you wanna see a complete and full review, I know we filmed that a few years ago, but it's still good. You can go on and check out the Toyota Tacoma in its great environment in the sand, doing some little off-road tests, just like what we like. Feel free to go check that out. So today it's gonna to be a quick review of that truck. When you look at the exterior, I love the double cap feature, I love the styling, and how about that chrome that you see right there in the front grille? You've got LED lighting also. The, the thing that I'm not sure about is that plastic protector right there, which is for fuel economy, I know, but it's not really a use when it's gonna come to off-road. You've got also the Toyota Embose tailgate with the integrated spoiler. You've got the chrome sidebar step and you've got the mention limited right there on the side, but the box, I know it's small, but remember you can tow with that vehicle. When you check inside, the only downside is adjustment for the driver and the passenger. You pay more than 40K right now for that truck and you don't have any electrical adjustment for your seat. And how about the steering wheel? Well, it's only gonna move one inches. That's not too much when you want to roll with comfort. You know, the Japanese didn't really understand what comfort is right there inside the Tacoma. So you still got a little bit of plastic though also and you've got that GoPro camera mount that you can use. This is perfect for your adventure. You've got the premium GBL display audio system with a seven inch screen. You've got premium leather seat and you've got also right there in the back enough spaces for your passenger. But remember, this is a compact truck. This is not a full size truck. So you've got some storage underneath the seat. You can fold them if you want. It's gonna make a perfect surface if you want to put some stuff on that or simply have to work on something. And once again, passenger in the rear are gonna be okay with space, but it's not too much. So if they're really tall and you've got a tall person right there in front, you might have a conflict right there settling on, on interior space. Let's talk about the engine. Well, the one that we have right there inside is the V6, the 3.5 liter Atkinson, 278 horsepower, 265 pound-feet of torque. You can still get the four-cylinder in other version of the Tacoma, but 159 horsepower in the 2.7 liter four-cylinder, 180 pound-foot of torque, that's not really impressive. Both engine got variable valve timing, electronic throttles, control system, and other feature to maximize the power over a wide RPM band, while also maximizing fuel efficiency. You've got also Atkinson cycle with the 3.5, but this engine needs to rev. It needs to go to higher RPM to really feel that power in that acceleration and that sound also. When they move from the four liter to the 3.5 liter, 
a lot of buyers were kind of unsatisfied with that new engine. You know, the low end torque that you want when you're off-road, the low end torque that you want when you're towing something, and how about when you're fully loaded? It's important to get some low torque power. So it's kind of missing that. You really have to make the engine rev before feeling something. You still got two choice some transmission, the six-speed manual and the six-speed automatic that we have right here inside that vehicle. You've got the sports mode that you can shift to and get a little bit of a manual feeling. The one that we have right here is four-wheel drive only and you've got an auto-limited slip rear differential. It's called an auto-lock feature. It's not really powerful. It's not mechanical like the competition out there. So it's not going to fully lock, but it's going to use the brake to simply slow down the wheel that's spinning and give you better traction. But remember, it doesn't replace a good locker. Towing capacity will vary from 3,500 pounds to 6,500 pounds. And with the limited model that we have in the back, we've got the trailer sway control system, seven pin trailer wear harness, and we've got the class four trailer hitch, which is perfect to tow a really big load. So we did a video with a trailer, go check that out. So since the box is small in the rear, the cargo, you cannot even put an ATV in there without having the panel open. And I think for some people it might be an issue, but still we wanted to test with a trailer and you're gonna see a great video about that. So when it's come to road handling, well, the acceleration, you need to rev it. And when you're loading it, yep, you still need to rev that engine. So zero to 60 miles per hour is said to be around 8.1 seconds. We will test that once again. You're gonna see that when it's come to reality with winter tires, with all the, the liquids inside, and when you're loaded, and when you're at a certain sea level, something's changing, yeah, yeah, you don't do the same numbers. But remember, the acceleration are adequate, and it's not its intended mission to be sporty. You've got the low RPM power, which is unimpressive. You've got also an ECT power button that you can press inside the vehicle, and it's gonna alter the shift points for more immediate response, and you're gonna feel the accelerator to be more frenzy, but it must be reselected every time you restart the truck. Braking, have you seen the rear brake? Yep, it's a drum brake. Oh, the competition is all disc everywhere, so why stick with that? When it's gonna come to towing, it might be better if you've got some electric brakes on your trailer to help the Tacoma. And how about an electric brake controller inside to adjust the power? But those brakes are gonna be really easy to do maintenance on. <laughs> They're gonna be able to live a long time. So, so it's cheaper when it's gonna come to maintenance cost. And the braking force is kind of okay. You've got an okay feeling in the pedal. It's not impressive, but remember that you've got the soft off-road tires on this kind of truck, probably too soft also, but it's gonna be much better when it's gonna come to highway, going into some little mud and hitting the city after that. Remember, this is not made for really aggressive stuff out there. The direction, really normal for a truck. You've got a great predictability and you've got a great feeling through it. When you're gonna be doing some parking maneuvers, you won't have any problem and it's gonna be real easy. The suspension, loaded, unloaded. You don't even hear a sound about that suspension when it's working. It can take up a lot of bumps and even if you're on a regular roads, that's gonna be comfortable. And when you're gonna hit the potholes or how about those big moguls, you're gonna see that it can handle it. Even with a trailer, you don't have that little jerky movement every time. You must choose your trailer carefully though with the proper weight and be sure to balance it really well. But still the suspension is able to take it. When it's gonna come to general comfort though, remember, it's not the most comfortable truck out there. There's some adjustment lacking. And even inside Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you don't have any of that. You still got a great sound system. All the buttons are easy to select. And remember, when you want to switch to 4x4, it's simply a rotary knob. And if you want to use your A-Log differential, the bottom is up there, remember that. 
Otherwise, when it's gonna come to security, well, every Tacoma this year got the Safety Sense P package. So you've got pre-collision system with pedestrian detection, lane departure alert, automatic high beam, and dynamic radar cruise control. You've got that rear view camera that really needs some fine tuning. I don't know the, the precision, the, the quality is not really there. How about some HD camera, please? And the contrast that I had with the truck when it's gonna come dark out there, I had to get out and check it for myself to be sure that I was right there on target to simply attach the trailer. You've got the blind spot monitor that are gonna react also to every car around you, that's fine. But when you're attaching a trailer, well, if you're turning, you're gonna see the blind spot monitor simply turning on and it's gonna divert your attention. So you might wanna turn it off if you're towing, but hey, you need that if there's a car hiding. So you gotta be careful with that system. You've got also a clearance and backup sonar. This is really great when it's gonna come to parking maneuvers out there and you've got one essential safety feature the rear cross traffic alert when it's going to come to fuel consumption though on papers 13.2 in town 10.7 on the highway that's kind of high for a 3.5 engine and the transmission in that truck what's happening toyota and when you're going to be towing ooh, it's going to go up to 15 16 17 18 and i was not even fully loaded with the trailer so you're going to have to be careful with your acceleration and still keep in mind that it's not the most efficient truck out there with some diesel option that the competition can offer to you. So let's talk about the competition. And by the way, we're gonna do a video where we're gonna announce our favorite compact truck of the year. So we're gonna simply blast through those names. The Nissan Frontier, well, is probably the oldest truck out there. Not the best one when it's gonna come to road handling, but still, a little performer when it's gonna come to off-road. You have also the Honda Ridgeline, which is probably one of the best when it's gonna come to road handling in the city. So it's probably more a city truck than an adventure truck like this one. The Chevrolet Colorado with the ZR2 option with the personalization that you can do. Ooh, I love that. And how about the GMC Canyon? Well, with the Denali package, it's full luxury out there. So you will have more competition soon, but hey, go see that video that we did where it's gonna be a face-off to find the best 2018 truck of car question. Still, let's talk about the minus points and the plus points of the Tacoma. Well, when it's gonna come to enter your comfort, you're gonna search your electric button, you're gonna search the perfect adjustment for your steering wheel, and you won't find it. If you're tall like me, you will see your legs go really high, and that's why I prefer my Tundra right now, because you've got more space inside. You're gonna see that you won't find any Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So if you're a fanatic of those super smartphone system, well, you're gonna be sorry. And it's not really fuel efficient. Toyota needs to work on that. The truck is aerodynamic. You've got all those vortex generator at the exterior. But remember, be easy on the throttle, even with a V6. And how about those tires? Why such skinny tires on an off-road adventure truck? Well, I don't know. Please tell me why. So on the plus side, you've got those awesome off-road capability. You've got that awesome resale value, which is incredible with that truck over time. When it's gonna come to the box in the rear, you're gonna find that it's really well lighted. You will have all the connectors that you need to do some work. And how about those anchor points to make sure that your car go all still inside. And remember, this is the perfect truck for adventure for off-road and also in the city because it's kind of maneuverable. So there you go. What do you think about that? Feel free to comment in the section down there below. Don't forget, we've got a full video of the Tacoma that we did. Go and check that out in the channel. Subscribe to Car Question, do a thumbs up, and remember, we will have more video for you. Take care.